Morning, friends. Uh, so, who is ready for another adventure? Uh, where should we go? Shall we go to Milan? Yeah, okay, let's go. Thanks very much, cheers. It's like 10 degrees and raining in Cardiff. This is much better. This place is kind of dead. No! I get really excited when I see these Hudson News shops because uh, as was my understanding like I've only seen them in um, airports across the US so now whenever I see them I'm like excited I think I go to America like a dog when the lead comes out I'm like yeah Hudson are we going to America are we going to America so on the exit towards the station, they have this really cool like art installation place. Check out these lasers. Freaking laser beams. Oh, a little bit of mist. And over here it looks like the giant pepper's ghost effect. Like a hologram cathedral. It's pretty cool. Much better. Right then, let's find this hotel. Ah, here we are. Fab. Ooh. Nice. Check in. Nicely. I've got my bag already here. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, it's a little balcony. Yeah. Looks like the party's already started down there. Hey hey Okay, all unpacked. Time to go explore a tiny little bit of Milan in the few hours of daylight I have left. Let's see what we can see. I think I remember hearing somewhere that Sundays, which it is today, are kind of culturally quiet in Italy, uh, nobody works. I think in fact some people might be prohibited from working. So it's pretty quiet today. <laughs> Not a lot of stuff uh, open. Uh, but that's okay. Get to do a bit of exploring. One thing I do know about uh, Italy 
although this might be an urban myth, is that they don't do Starbucks. Um, I say might be an urban myth because on the outset, yeah, it kind of looks like, you know, places like, you know, South American places or Italy, places that are revered for and revere coffee, um, don't really bow to the corporate, you know, conglomerate coffee giants um, in favour of, you know, smaller boutique -y kind of places and little coffee shops. But I think I've heard that that's not necessarily the case in reality. Um, lots of these places do still have Costas and Starbucks and all the rest of it. It's obviously just not quite as uh, popular unfortunately for me because I would love a frappuccino right now check out this tower that's being built it is truly twisted architecture look at that weird but I like it they're putting a big twist in it and right next to that is the venue that I'm in for the next few days and get a load of that. It's like some weird computer glitch, uh, MC Escher kind of painting or something. It's, it's cool, I like it. I'll tell you what it does remind me of is, um, you know that visual artist, uh, David something. I can't quite think of his name, but I'll put him up on the screen now. Kind of reminds me of one of his weird, like, glitchy digital art things. It's pretty good. So the real question is, how the heck do you get into this place? So it turns out this venue is about a thousand times bigger than I thought. Uh, but I think this is at least the part of the venue that I want to be at. Uh, no, we'll, we'll come back here. Um... Ah, yeah. Yeah, these are definitely my guys. Let's go see what it looks like. Ah, yeah, here we are. Much better. Well, it's a pretty, pretty decent venue. They've got us down here in the underground where it's uh, much cooler. Just went in to swipe some stuff from the craft services. And now I'm gonna go home and explore a little more of the surrounding area of a hotel, I think. Let's be honest, wouldn't you much rather have this guy than some douche trying to wash your windows with gravel? Good on him. Look at him go! Give him some money! Well, I think just getting here has tuckered me out, so I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.